Hi there, traders. Now, I just want to do a uh, quick update. Just having a look at the uh, analysis across the pages. I thought I'd make a, a slight correction, and it just, just goes on from what I'm seeing in the price action just at the moment. So if I just show you the charts here, you can start to see where, you, so Euro's just had a little bit of a nosedive. I know this is uh, early still-ish for the Asian session, but I think we're going to see a bit of a correction here, which is what I was looking at on my original analysis, especially with the Euro and Aussie but I think it might come into play with a bit, bit of a dollar correction uh, to start the week. So I, I can see a lot of these pairs coming down now. Sterling has got a couple of support levels here. Um, it's been behaving a little bit differently of late to the other pairs. It could still possibly be a buy and dip, but I th think I'm a bit more confident with the correction here in uh, the other pairs. Now, if I just give you a look at the dollar Swiss, I think this is where the opportunity will lie. Now, we've seen the dollar already correcting against Euro, Aussie, Kiwi, you know, Sterling, all these sorts of things. Dollar Swiss hasn't broken yet. So this might be an opportunity here to get into a uh, long dollar Swiss trade to start the week. And I would imagine there's going to be quite a few stop losses here. This is the daily chart, dollar Swiss, above that level. So getting in, um, there's a couple of little levels here. 91.58 is the, is the lowest level. You got a little level here just up above sort of 91.85 as well. But I think there's plenty of room here for dollar Swiss to rally. And the good thing is we will have some liquidity around these levels. It could be, uh, to me, it sort of stands out as being the potential best opportunity coming into definitely uh, Monday if you're really keen for a trade. Now, I've just updated the Daily Market Insight page and you'll see this here, the, uh, the key level here, 91.58. Uh, so dollar Swiss has been going down. Yes, that is correct. But the trend or the dollar move has just shifted and because it hasn't broken and it's in a downtrend, we have an opportunity to get into a trade here pretty close to the market. Okay, so that's just a little update. The other pair is a little bit uncertain. I'd say it looks like we're going to see a bit of dollar strength to start the week as the uh, potential reversal comes into play. So just bear that in mind if you are looking at sterling, it's sort of almost a similar situation to dollar Swiss, but it's got a couple of support levels and it's got a fair way to move below before it breaks down. So that's why I've still got it like a buy and a dip. But uh, we'll soon see, as we come into probably the European session, I would imagine that uh, we'll have a very clear idea if, if Euro and Aussie continue to say go down here, well then you'll know that buying sterling is probably not a good idea coming to that. But we'll know more through the day. Uh, at, the, at this very point in time, I thought it's uh, imperative I send out a, a bit of a slight adjustment here. And this is looking at dollar Swiss as a potential uh, opportunity for the top side. And I've corrected that on uh, the current trade in play or the current trade that looks the best in play. Dollar Swiss buy, buy a break. And we'll see how that plays out. All right, guys, have a good one. Cheerio.